Hi, this is Mandy with Scott Leroy Marketing. Today I want to show you how to set up a birthday smart plan for your contacts. Now, if you haven't tackled smart plans before and this is your first time, really recommend you go over to our YouTube channel and find our smart plans overview class. Um, there's several archives there. You can just grab one of them. They go over the basic prep work at the beginning, the first half of that class. And it's just some prep work to do within your command to make sure that all of your marketing and things like that is set up the way that you would like it to look just to kind of reduce any chances of typos or mistakes um, before you start sending out marketing pieces to your database. So definitely recommend going and checking out that little bit of a prep work. It's not a lot. It's just a little, but you'll want to make sure to save yourself the trouble by doing it on the front end um, before jumping in. So assuming that you've done the prep work and that you're good to go with your smart plans, you're familiar with them, we'll jump in right now and show you how to actually find those contacts that are ready to go for the birthday smart plan and then how to get that set up. So first thing, let's go over to your contact database over here on the top left. It's the little person in the box, second icon down from the top. And this is looking at your contact database. Now, if you're an agent that's on a team, you'll just want to make sure that you're looking at the right database. If you are wanting to work with your personal contacts and set this smart plan up on your personal profile, then you'll just want to come over here to the top right and make sure that you're under that personal profile right here. If you are wanting to look at the team profile, the team contacts, and set the smart plan up on the team, then you would choose that team profile right here. So if you're a solo agent, that's not applicable, but just wanted to make sure we had that said for the guys that are on the team. So from here, I want to show you how to filter through your contacts to find the right ones that will be good for this. So we'll just click on filters right here. This is your filter drawer that opens. Let me minimize some of the open menus so you can see the whole thing. And so these are your basic filters, but I want to show you your advanced filters up here on the top right hand corner for today. Now you may not have any filters in place. This is just for us to have our demo contacts contact showing so you can just ignore this on my screen you would add a filter by choosing right here add filter and from the first field we want to choose birthday now this means it's going to be pulling from that birthday field on the contact profile meaning we want to see who has a birthday already entered and so we'll come right here and set that condition with this particular drop down you have a lot of options but for today you can either choose who has a birthday that is empty, meaning they don't have a birthday on their contact profile, and you want to start gathering that information from them to get those filled out just as a conversation starter, things like that. Um, you can sort that way. But for today, let's definitely stick to birthday is not empty. This means that they have some form of value already in their birthday field. Okay. And so you can hit apply right there and it will show you your contacts that already have a birthday on file. And we can go ahead and add that birthday tag. That's the goal of making sure they have their birthday on their profile and also have that birthday tag because that will make it easier going to add them to the birthday smart plan in our next few steps. So you can sort by that to see whose birthday is not empty, meaning they have the birthday on file, or you can choose tags right here and choose who has a birthday tag on their profile. So includes any, and you can type in birthday. If you already have the birthday tag created and maybe have a few contacts that already have it, um, you can come here and see who has the birthday tag already or you can actually choose excludes any and find the contacts who do not have that birthday tag, okay? Um, if you want to double that up with the birthday, not to get super confusing here, but let's say we want to apply both of those filters at once. We want to see who does not have the birthday tag, but does have the birthday field filled out, which means they're sitting out there in your database with a birthday. So you want to include them on this smart plan, but for some reason they haven't been tagged with the birthday tag. So we can do that by applying both filters. The first would be tags. They're missing, which excludes, they're missing the birthday tag, but the birthday field is not empty. 
meaning they have a birthday on file. I hope that's clear. If you have any questions about this, you can reach out to us at support at scottlauriemarketing.com and we'll try to help um, help you with any of your questions. But again, we're just double layering these filters. We're applying multiple filters to be able to see who has a birthday on file but it's missing that birthday tag, okay? And you can hit apply and it should show you your contacts here. Both of our contacts already have the tag birthday and so neither one of ours came up, but once you hit apply filters, you should see your contacts here. I'm just gonna go back and adjust my filters really quick and hit apply so that we can see our contacts. And so for right here, say you're looking at your contacts, You've already filtered them and the contacts you are looking at have a birthday on their field, on their contact profile, but they don't necessarily have that birthday tag. So I want to add that birthday tag to the con contacts that you're looking at. You can do this individually by clicking one-on-one -on -one, or you can just click on the contact's name and add the profile to them individually. We're assuming you're working with multiple contacts at this point. so. Go ahead over here to the far right hand side, make sure you're showing up to 500 contacts at a time. So you'll see the max number on this first page and then choose this or check the select all box right here in the header. So it'll select up to the 500 on that first page and you'll notice that your bulk action menu opens up right here and you can add tags. From here, you'll just type in the tag that you're looking to to add. For us, it's birthday. And you'll choose the birthday tag and hit submit. Now, this will apply. You'll notice at the bottom right, it says the birthday tag was applied. But as you can kind of see on your screen, the birthday tag is still not showing right here for Sally. And so you can actually hit the refresh on your website. And when you do that, you can see here there it goes on your screen that the birthday tag is now added to both of the contacts here on our screen so you will actually be able to see here that you should be good to go if you have more than 500 again you'll want to hit the next page over here to go to the next 500 to make sure you're applying that tag to all of the contacts that you're seeing here, okay? So we'll assume our contacts are good to go. We now have the birthday tag on all the contacts that we would like to have them on. So you can travel over here to your Smart Plans tab now. And from here, you may already have the birthday um, Smart Plan downloaded from the library. You can use your search field here to search for birthday to see if it is here. For us, it is not. So we need to go over to the library right here and grab the birthday Smart Plan. Now we highly recommend using the KW, the KW authored birthday Smart Plan, okay? The reason is it is coded correctly on the back end to actually pull that birthday information from the contact profile in command. Other birthday smart plans may be back here in the library issued by other associates and agents. They may be great. Still check them out if you'd like. Test them on yourself first to make sure they're okay. But as to date of this video, there is no other smart plan that currently has the correct coding to pull that exact birthday off of your contact profile. Meaning if you grabbed another smart plan that is not authored by KW for birthdays, you may run the chance of sending a happy birthday out to 500 contacts all in one day, <laughs> not on their birthday, okay? So you can find it by filtering or by using your search bar right here if you want. You can type in birthday. We're looking for KW's authored birthday. It's coming up right here at the top. I want to show you how to find it without using your search though. So let's go back. Again, we're right here on the library tab. If you just scroll down one, you'll see the Keller Williams authored smart plans are all right here, all 10 of them are all right here. And so you can actually just go through these, move over to the right and find their birthday one right here. Now we're going to go ahead and add smart plan. You can name it what you would like right here and just click download. You'll get a green banner of success seeing that this was 
added in for you and to your My Smart Plans. So we'll click Smart Plans right here. And now you see it at the top of your Smart Plans. We don't have anybody added yet, so it is inactive. It'll be activated when we add contacts. So come over here to the right with the edit the, for the pencil. I just want to show you what this birthday Smart Plan can do for you you'll see that the first thing it does is it actually has a task set up for you for the first day. It'll give you a task that says birthday card four, and it'll list off your contacts first and last name. And the task description will be for you to write a handwritten note and have that contacts first name and last name for their birthday this week on, and it will include that contacts birthday in the description as part of the birthday smart plan. So from here, you can jazz this up a little bit if you would like. If you would like to add more of a note for something that you'd like to include in your task description, add a hyperlink, you can do that. But then it's going to skip ahead four days and then schedule a task for you to make a phone call on day five of this plan. And it'll, again, it'll say birthday call four, have their phone number in with the task description right here and their birthday will also be listed so at a glance you can easily look at your tasks and get right to it without having to click back and forth from your tasks to your contacts it'll all be listed right there for you it has another one day delay and there's another task right here for you to go and do a social post for them on their social platform um, you can see that this has the task description as well to include their name and their birthday. If you want to add any more merge fields, you can do that from right here as well. Maybe you need their email to find them on social media or something like that. You may want to add in another merge. At the same time as the task for the social post for you to go and interact on their social platform, it actually also has an automated text that can go out to tell them happy birthday. If you have Twilio connected, this will go out automatically. If you do not have a Twilio account, which is completely optional, it will just create a task for you that day for you to manually use your own mobile device to send a text message. But if you do have Twilio, connected, you can set up this automated text to say whatever you would like right here. Maybe you want to add in their name instead of it just saying happy birthday. So you can actually say contact first name, put the exclamation there. Oh, today is fabulous. So you can add in anything that you would like. Please remember that emojis, you can use emojis, um, but Twilio does charge differently depending on how many emojis, things like that. It's not just a credit per character. It can change depending on how many, how many different emojis you've used and things like that. So if you don't have Twilio and you want to change this, um, you don't actually have to change it, excuse me. You will automatically have a task created for yourself. Now, the smart plan does end there or remove the person from the smart plan once it has completed it for their birthday. Um, just know that it does start and is programmed to start a specific number of days prior to the birth date on their profile. So you don't have to worry about scheduling it for a specific day. You can go ahead and have this start now for all of your contacts. Um, and when their birthday rolls around, this smart plan knows to start four days before their birthday. Okay. So it'll be the week of their birthday. It'll give you time to mail out that card and still be able to get it there before their birthday. You can also still add triggers to this smart plan as well. Um, this is a great way to add like tags and things like that. So if we add our tag birthday to this smart plan, that means that any contact moving forward that we have the birthday on file for and we add this birthday tag to, that person will automatically get added to this birthday smart plan moving forward and you don't have to manually add people anymore to it. Anybody previously set up with the birthday tag will not automatically be added. It doesn't go retro. Um, you would have to manually add the contacts that currently have the birthday tag to it, which we're going to do that today. And then moving forward, anybody that had the birthday tag added in the command database will automatically be added to the smart plan.
So you can choose that trigger. It just lets you know the same thing that I just said. Any contacts already having this tag will not be added. We can do that manually and just confirm trigger. So you can adjust the triggers, adjust the smart plan name. Just notice over on the right hand side, it does let you know this is a Keller Williams managed plan, which means editability is limited. OK, and so it does let you know the things that you can change, which I just went over with you um, in detail, but you can't add steps um, or remove steps in a KW authored plan. So that is the only um, caveat with this. We've had other agents wanting to create custom birthday plans, like to have a birthday email um, that goes out and things like that. Since at this time, there's not a birthday plan out there other than the KW authored one that will actually pull from the date on the contact profile, you may want to consider tagging your contacts with the month of their birthday, like January birthdays, February birthdays, things like that. And then you can create a smart plan for that that would actually run and you can schedule it to start the 1st of February or the 1st of March. And it would send out whatever you create. If you want it to have an email blast that goes out with a happy birthday um, graphic in it, things like that, it would send it out for that month and you can celebrate their birthday month with them um, if you're worried about it not going out on the right date. So that might be something to consider if you would like to do something a little more custom. But for right now, the KW authored smart plan for the birthdays does do the tasks for you to do a social interaction, a text, and also um, the handwritten birthday card okay and so from here if you've adjusted this like you like you can come right up here to the top right and click save and then you can click add contacts from here choose your tags type in birthday it'll show you your contacts that have birthdays now if they did not have a birthday field filled out or don't have a birthday on their contact profile, you would get a little red warning right about here that says this person does not have a birthday on file. Um, you can still technically add them to the smart plan, just know they'll automatically be removed um, when they come off of that plan because it won't be able to pull the birth date on them. So they'll actually falter off. Um, of the plan since it doesn't have the required field to be able to complete the smart plan. So you can select all here if you would like and add to the smart plan. Now it's giving me my errors. It's saying Sally Sample is actually missing a birthday. So I can choose to remove contacts with that error or add to the plan anyway. I'm going to say remove the contact. That way all the other contacts, Joe Bob is going to be added to the smart plan, but Sally won't because she doesn't have a birthday. And so we can set this up to start now. Other smart plans, they do give you the option to stagger or to schedule on a certain day. Since the birthday pulls directly from the birth date on the contact, you can start it immediately and it just lets you know that right here. Okay. And so you can just hit confirm to start immediately. And from there, you'll get the green banner of success saying it's set up. We'll come back to the back arrow here to your smart plans. I'm going to hit refresh just for good measure. And you see the eyeball in one right here for your My Birthday Smart Plan, meaning it is an active smart plan now. And if you ever want to check, you can click that eyeball and it'll show you the contacts that are currently on that smart plan. Okay. All right. That's how you would add contacts to your birthday smart plan, your KW birthday smart plan. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at support at scottleroymarketing.com and we'll be happy to help you. Thanks for watching.